lap, left back to line. Number two following Kenzie and Heavier, but three and mile five. Okay, number two. Okay, everyone, Jared here with Real Sim Gear. Just a quick video to run through the display setup process for the uh, Real Sim Gear G5. So um, you can see we've got two G5 units configured here. This is be similar to what you'd see in, if you uh, purchased the G5 bundle. We've got the upper one as the PFD and the lower one as the HSI. So to get that going, we've got all the uh, cables connected, power and USB and uh, HDMI. And uh, you can see they're both displaying the Windows uh, background. So we go to the Real Sim Gear website and head to Setup and Support, and then go down to uh, Setup Guides, and then we're going to go down to G5 Products and got set up for the Real Sim Gear G5. So the first part is about installing the G5 plugin software. I'm going to assume you've gone ahead and done all that, that's uh, pretty straightforward. And then we come to the, the setting about the display. So the first thing we want to do is rearrange our displays to kind of get them in this general arrangement. It's, it's um, just makes the whole process a lot easier. So to get into this, we go down to the uh, display settings, right click on your desktop and pick display settings where you can search from down here. Just type display settings and that comes up. Now in this instance, we've got a 750 uh, connected as well. Let's display number four and we've moved our um, displays for the G5s so to number two and three. You can press identify and that'll show you uh, what's going on with how Windows sets are configured. If they're somewhere else, just drag them around. You can just click and drag and position them like this. So the next thing we want to do is take note of the resolution of your primary display. So in this instance, we've got a 4K display. So click on display one and we can see that the display resolution is 3840 by 2160. That's important because when we come down to this part, we basically need to tell our, our configuration file the, where the bottom left corner is for the G5 PFD and the G5 HSI. So it just basically just uh, involves a little bit of math to figure this out. So the bottom left corner of the primary display is 00. zero on a coordinate system like this. We just need to add the size of the main display and then subtract off um, the sizes of the G5 screens to determine what these uh, positions are. So this is all outlined in the text here, but essentially the, the G5 screens are 640 by 480 uh, resolution. And so to find this point here, so the bottom left corner of the PFD, um, in terms of its X number, which is the the side, the position left to right, we're going to add the um, the number here, the the width of the primary display, three eight four zero, and we're going to, and that's going to take basically tell us that that number here. And then for the HSI, we're going to take the three eight four zero number, but also add on the width of the PFD display, which is um, six hundred and forty pixels. And um, similarly for the height, we're going to take the um, the height of our display, which is 2160 from this measured from this point, and we're going to subtract the height of the uh, G5 display, which is uh, 480. And so in this instance, we've we can figure out that the bottom left of the PFD is x coordinate 3840, y 1680, and the bottom left of the HSI is x4480 and y is the same at 1680. So once we've kind of got those numbers jotted down it's very simple to go and plug those in to the configuration file so we need to go and find that. So the way to do that is to jump into your Windows Explorer and jump into your X-Plane folder and then what we need to do there is go just follow this sort of formula here. So in X-Plane we've got aircraft and then this depends on which aircraft you've installed the G5 to. If you've taken the um, the the default, you know, the one that X Aviation adds, and uh, with the G5 gauge, it'll be the Cessna 172 G5 and plugins G5 
settings and then ACF config. Just remember that this is per aircraft. So if you've got this configured in multiple aircraft, you'll have to just edit one of these config files and copy it to the other aircraft file uh, folders that you want to use it with. So I just edit this with anything, any text editor using uh, this notepad plus here. So now it's just a matter of following the example here in the um, in the setup in terms of what lines to edit and just plug in the numbers for your instance. So if you're using a, a 1920 by 1080 primary display, these numbers will be different. If you're using a 4K, you can just copy copy the numbers here. So um, first off, we want to go and um, find the G5 uh, NBZL XA. So we can find that down here. That's this guy, NBZL XA. The default value will be 2000. We want to change that to 3840. The XB value, we want to change it to 4480. The YA, we want to change it to 1680. The YB value is also 1680. Now also we want to change these two lines up here. So no bezel open at launch for A and B. We want to change that to both one. So all the A and B are referring to here is the A is the PFD unit, B is the HSI unit. Okay, so that's it. All we have to do, we're going to hit save on that and can close this guy down. Now, when we load up X-Plane, it should uh, load these this configuration file. So let's go and give that a try now. Let's hit, hit X-Plane. So we go new flight. There's our Cessna Skyhawk G5, which was added when we installed the G5 instrument. Let's start that flight. So what this is going to do is automatically pop out the G5 PFD and G5 HSI screens for us. And then it's going to look at that configuration file and position them uh, precisely where we have them for the um, on the G5 screens. Okay, so you can see that's come up. You can see now that the uh, both the G5s are powered up and have popped out to the G5 hardware screen. And the PFD's up and the HSI's up. Okay, so that, that's how it all works. You, If you try this and you notice that the for whatever reason the uh, coordinates are a little bit off, you can um, you can go ahead and while X-Plane's actually running, you can go ahead and um, actually um, pause it or just leave it running. Go and edit that text file we opened earlier and then you can go up to developer, reload current aircraft skip art reload and that will actually reload in whatever values you put in that text file and allow you to uh, correct any errors you have with the screen alignment. Okay so that's that's the process. Um, Please, you know, feel free to hit us up on uh, any of the contact methods if you have any questions about that. Best bets uh, support at realsimgear.com, and I uh, will get you up and running. Thanks again.